great morning to everyone out there on YouTube. Just getting up, look at this. Look at this sight though, dude. Look how awesome the clouds look with the sun coming up behind them. The ocean in the background. The beach and the ocean. This is just another painting from creation. Got a good day planned, so stay tuned. Uh, just try and create a good day every day. That's the plan. So off to Wawa to get a cup of coffee. Off to Wawa to get a cup of coffee. And then I'm gonna go back to the house and edit the video real quick. To my mom's house and edit the video real quick. And then export it so it's ready to upload later on. And then go to OC and put this scrap in the trailer that's in my truck. And then we'll see where we go from there. Maybe to the scrap yard. If not filled up enough, maybe we're gonna hit Sea Isle and see what they got over there for the boys. All right, so this is how we do it. Uh, exporting the video from yesterday on the go. Uh, I didn't want to wait around for another hour just to export it. So we're just doing that now and then I'm going offshore right now and my mom's behind me too. Uh, we're gonna check out this property that my dad had an offer on. Uh, these houses are going pretty good deals in Summers Point, a little bit off from the beach. It's like a, it's just a little neighborhood that that sits like, I don't know, it's only five miles from the, the beach, which is crazy. The houses are going for like 100,000. This one's listed for 119. But um, it's a, just a nice little just house. And he wants to buy it and then I'll put some money down and then he'll set up a mortgage for me through him, through his bank, so that I can just pay him every month. Uh, however, he wants to do it so that we can actually get the house and then we'll set up the mortgage later. But um, yeah, that's the plan, so we're gonna check it out. Uh, no guarantee that it's gonna work out or go through because real estate's crazy, but yeah, that's, that's what we got going on here. After that, I'm gonna head over to Ocean City and load up this into the trailer and then maybe hit the streets a little bit. I gotta build a bed still today for uh, so I can actually start sleeping over in OC uh, on more than just a couch or an air mattress because that just sucks. So I'm gonna build a bed and then either buy a mattress or put the air mattress on top of the bed, which is pretty much the same thing, but at least I'll be leveled up. And then uh, just keep living that scrap life, baby, baby. This is the house. This is the possible scrap headquarters. Maybe, eventually. But it has a garage, and I could pull the trailer in this way if I build a fence, and there's no driveway there, but also big backyard. No guarantees that these things fall through all the time. But little shed over there huge yard just a simple house asbestos side but we'll work with it boys that's the claim here here we go first find of the day a little metal rolling chair it's actually kind of cool if i didn't have so many things like this already i'd probably keep it but uh yeah the sides are aluminum on this it looks like so i might break this down and uh yeah, first find of the day. Off to another day scrapping, boys. Scrap life heavy up in her. My claim is, <laughs> you guys are blowing up the spot no see, huh? Yeah, dude, <laughs> obviously. Scrap life. <laughs> all right, the plan is to unload all this, all the light iron into the trailer and to just separate, uh, just separate all the good shit, all the non-ferrous into the yard and then I think I'm doing a run today if I have enough but it looks not like my trailer's getting close if not maybe find a couple more things but definitely should make a run soon today or tomorrow all right we're up and running uh, 
running water, electricity, I got a bathroom, I got a washer, that's keep life, that came from a foreclosure clean out, dryer, came from a foreclosure clean out too, full bathroom, shower, uh, also shout out to whoever said eating out is stupid and a waste of money, I forget who it was, but I'm gonna be making most of my meals right here, now that I got a kitchen up and running. No stove, but I got a dishwasher, microwave, uh, little mini fridge, keep life, found it in the trash. I got this little fridge, keep life, don't really need it for anything. But um, I'm gonna get a hot plate, one of them from Big Lots. I need to build a bed, and I'm gonna get rid of that air mattress and buy a real mattress. But yeah, we're hooked up in here, boys. Fully living the dream. Got my trailer hooked up to a charger because you got to charge the battery on here uh, so you can dump it if you get stuck there. No dump trailer, you're fucking hating life. But yeah, I'm just continuing to move this stuff over here. I'll probably take this load today at some point. Might as well. Dirty aluminum stacked, all beach chairs, pretty much. A ladder and some crutches, but that's how we're doing that. Oh, this is dirty too. Probably only an extra pound, but might as well put it in. Most of the time I fully forget, but you guys on the comments have been reminding me. I just grab this little bit of brass and everything off of here. Slowed iron, which is so dumb. Takes an extra couple minutes to just grab it. Girls have it. Pretty much all girls have it. I mean, I'm gonna be leaving behind a tiny, tiny little piece. But I'm getting the bush of it. For the most part, see that little brass? And then there's another piece on the other end that I'm cranking off. If I can, and some stainless, some brass, little piece of brass. Just gotta go for it, you know. Here we go again, trying to back this hitch perfectly onto the trailer, and I don't fucking know. I don't even think I'm close. This is so gnarly. Check it out. It's pretty close. I just gotta come straight back. All right, see that took me like 10 times of backing up and pulling up, but I got my safety clip on there, just like one of the boys said I should. And I'd say we're ready to hit it. Maybe. Wrap this one more time. I don't know why it's so low. But, uh. Dirty aluminum, light iron, and we're going. We got probably a thousand pounds of scrap there, and I don't know, maybe a hundred pounds of dirty aluminum. And we're ready to hit the sash here. Scrap, 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 scrap life. Just close the 
days there. And we're in there. Heavy scrap life load out here. Truly for the boys, for the scrap gods and goddesses out here. Just so fortunate to have the life that I have. Uh, I know a lot of people have it a lot harder than me, but uh, I still think no matter where you are in life and what your position is, you can always make your life better with positivity and just having a positive uh, mental attitude and just portraying uh, a beautiful picture of the world and a beautiful picture of your life in your mind and then to the world. Because everything that everything that's in your reality is created first in your mind and then it's projected out through your eyes and that creates your brain then creates your reality so if you always think positive I know it's hard I don't always think positive myself but if you try to stay positive throughout the day wake up with a positive attitude go to sleep with a positive attitude I think that your life will just be that much better uh, it works for me most of the time all right, I guess I'm getting pulled over here on the bridge. Uh, don't know why they would pull me over on the bridge, but I'm gonna just try and film it because this is a little absurd that they would try and pull me over right now. But it is what it is, I guess. What's up, man? Hey, how you doing today, sir? He said I'll be back, right? Uh, he said stay there. Yeah. He just said stay there. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay. I'm just gonna hang out, make sure nobody gets hit and stuff, right? Yeah. I was gonna pull over there, but he said stay there. I figured it'd be safer if I went into. Nah, the we're good. All right, just hang yeah. out, right? You have a tag on your trailer? Or you All right. So as you guys can see, I'm pulled over here on the side of the bridge, and they thought I didn't have a anything a license plate on my trailer and they thought my license was suspended so they're just making all kinds of accusations that aren't necessarily true I do have a license plate on my trailer and I do have a license and my load is actually strapped down with ropes a chair from the back of the truck actually fell out because of the wind and I got it right away and then the police told me to pull over in an unmarked car so this is what's going on right now I don't know what what the deal is why they're getting so crazy but yeah I, I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen but my camera's dead there's almost no battery to it so I'm just gonna film what I can with this phone and hopefully get some footage because I really don't get what's going on here two cop cars, an unmarked cop car, crazy all over the scrap life. I don't know. All right, so I've been waiting here like 10, 15 minutes already, and they have like half the lane blocked off with cop cars, with police cars, and uh, from what I can tell, they're causing pretty much more, more, um, more danger than I guess what is necessary they should have had me pull over to the fishing pier I guess is what I was trying to do but they told me to stay here so I'm just staying here but uh yeah that's what's going on right now I think one of the police cars left and there's definitely one still back there uh, and then I guess the detectives are coming back. I don't really know what's going on, and I have no license on me, so this is heavy. Yeah, what's your what's your, your brother? Who's got the nickname? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, jumped my off brother. the bridge over here. Yeah, jumped off the bridge. It was good. I watched the video, man. Wait, what bridge? This bridge here. What's the oh, name? Oh, on the other group? side. Yeah, what's the name? Not TV. Group? Yeah, that was you, right? That wasn't me on the that bridge. That was your brother. But... You don't want to set yourself on fire. Yeah. All right. I was one, I was a detective though. Oh yeah, I, I didn't give you a hard time. I don't that steal day. like scrap from people. Yeah, Why you would can't. That be well, here's it? the problem. It's I'm not saying it's you, but it's we got legit problem in town. So what people do, they go down like the alleyways. It's people put their sometimes they put their beach chairs like you know on the side of their I house. I already know you can't scrap in Ocean can't City because I know nah, a couple people that got tickets. There's an ordinance for it. Yeah, man. Now you can. I mean, it's if if somebody gives you permission to scrap, you're good to well, get. That's where I got most of this stuff. But you know what the people best call to do? me if you have to get it. what's your first name again? I'm sorry. James. James. 
if you have permission, James, uh, from somebody to scratch, just make sure you have like a handwritten note or something like that, and it was give you a hard time. But it's it's brutal. And the way that stuff's packed back there, that's called loading as to spill. You see that? That's it's, it's what that's too, called. That's what that's called. And look it up in total thirty nine. I want to put. I was gonna put sides on it, <laughs> but I just I didn't find enough wood to do yeah. it yet. Yeah, wood would work, right? Yeah. Something. But you got to admit, that looks pretty bad, right? Yeah. It looks yeah, yeah. Bad. You know what I mean? I saw you kind of stop. Some stuff was falling out of it on the bridge. Yeah, it was getting loose. It's really It was windy. getting loose. All right. Yeah, I remember you, man. You're a good dude. All right? Yeah. A little crazy with that fire stuff, but you're a good dude. All yeah. right. Take, I'm just take, trying to make a little money, dude. I'm not trying I'm to do anything playing. illegal. I'm not going to stop you from making a living, man. Yeah. Now, we're not out here to give anybody a hard time make sure everybody's safe. But that's not safe, all right? Yeah. So drive, uh, drive reasonably and just Thank don't, you, don't let it fall off. I right? appreciate it. Safe, yeah, I'm going right? to put the gates on it before next time because that's yeah, crazy. Put some, put, if, that's all you got to do. Wait, were you in the car that pulled me over? I was in the car and then a dude behind you, what happened was he had his hat. He's a scrapper too. He I know. His, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had his hazards on trying to switch, but we thought you guys were together. Okay. So that's why we stopped. I got you. Out. All right, brother. All right. Be safe. Let Thanks. Damn, dude, that was crazy. I don't know how this video is gonna chop together, but they legitimately, he comes in here and said, I'm the cool cop before, and uh, he knew us from from light myself on fire on the roof in a previous video, and they fucking do. So the cops in OC are actually really cool. But that was fucking bobcat shit. So I guess I gotta end this video now because I have no, no, um, no more, no more time on my camera to film it. But I'll let you guys know how much I make at the scrapyard, and I did not get a ticket. I was driving with no license, and apparently this is a ticket-worthy trailer as of right now. But the guy shook my hand three times, and he said, "Just have a good day." Uh, but that was fucking Bobcat style gnarly out here today once again this hot weather is bringing out all the scrap gods it's a heavy lifestyle All right, here we are back at headquarters after an extremely gnarly scrap session. Pulled over, camera died, scrap yard popping. I got some, as much footage as I could on here of the whole incident, and I'm gonna try and upload this to my computer and then put it in the video. But uh, yeah, so I made $73 today scrapping. Uh, the dirty aluminum, they call it aluminum breakage. That's 10 cents a pound. I had 138 pounds of that, so I made $14. The scrap yard was really busy today, so I was talking to the manager, who I'm friends with, and he gave me and the guy in front of me, because we were waiting there for a while, 25 cents extra every 100 pounds, so 6.25 every 100 pounds. And I had 950 pounds, so 58 bucks, light iron. I didn't even have a thousand pounds of that, so not a bad haul. 73 bucks. Um, I got no ticket. Uh, I was driving without a license, which is crazy. I knew the one police officer, and I just want to do a huge shout out to the Ocean City Police. Uh, for just being so nice to me. They really had no reason to be that nice and just let me go. I mean, I didn't really do anything wrong, but I, they could have given me a ticket for the load, the way it was loaded, and for driving without a license. And the guy knew me, and he was cool, and he let me go just with a warning. And he also knew that I wasn't stealing scrap once he saw me because he knows that I wouldn't be doing that. But I guess there's a problem around here where people are stealing metal off construction sites. Uh, metal from back alleyways, from people's houses, under people's houses. But uh, I just don't see how that could ever be worth it. 
considering how low, how little amount of money you make off of scrapping to begin with. So you'd need to steal a shit ton of metal. In the long run, I just don't see how that's worth it. But uh, yeah, so all in all, good day scrapping. And I'm not done, I gotta still build this bed. And still just living the dream. Another day in paradise. Gotta take it with the ups and downs, boys. All right, my next, next stage in my life here is to make a bed. I have all this salvaged wood. I found these two two by fours in the trash. I found this actually at the point on the beach. And then I found this in the woods. It was actually cut like this already. I guess someone cut it down to get it out of the path. But I'm gonna use this for the legs. I don't know if I can, I might only have three legs from this. And then I'll use one of those other pieces I got. But the idea is salvaged wood. I might have to buy the plywood because I don't have a lot of it. But um, that's the goal here. To make a bed out of pretty much as cheap as possible. Isn't that the goal for everything? First time I'll be using a tripod in a long time. I usually just set the camera down on different shit. But this is... So I had three of those and I substituted this for the fourth leg. It's cut into a little bit, but it's strong, real sturdy. It's stronger than a two by four. So this is almost the whole bag, except for the top. All right, I'm gonna just lay this out and just drill it all together and then put it up on the things and see what we're looking at. This is truly for the box. All right, camera's coming off the tripod, but this is what she looks like so far. And these these posts that I put in it are really cool. Gives it kind of that nature vibe. Vibe. I need to put three supports across, I think, at least. So that's the next step. Scrap life, boys. at Starbucks for another upload. This is gonna be like an hour, boys, so I hope you enjoy this video. The amount you spend at Starbucks is probably gonna be the amount you have to pay on the internet. Got some scrap chats from the boys. Scrapping in the AM. Hitting it before seven, boys. Scrapping like a beast, scrap life. Damn. Is that copper, dude? Keep life. <laughs> All right, got this one uploaded. So you guys are gonna be able to watch it in a minute or so. And uh, this is a scrap video and a dumpster diving score. Uh, I found a bunch of stuff in Five Below, but you've already watched that if you're watching this, so it's kind of like you know already. But yeah, I'm getting out of here. Starbucks session over. 45 minutes in here just to upload this though. Bobcat style. All right, boys and girls, strap goddesses too. Uh, heavy day out there in the streets. Uh, almost got a ticket for scrapping today, but uh, just got out of it. Don't know how. The guy was cool. I knew he knew me, and he just let me go and hooked it up. But uh. If you liked my video today, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, another Scrap Life video. And tomorrow, there's going to be another cool video because I'm checking out a uh, foreclosure in the morning. Not sure if I'm going to get the job yet, but I'm going to bid it tomorrow. 
and then some other exciting stuff definitely some scrapping tomorrow and just another fun filled day uh cutting some grass so stay tuned uh, for the next video i should have this one uploaded by tomorrow around i don't know five six in the afternoon or so so but um yeah thank you guys so much again uh for the awesome comments i've been getting a lot of positive comments and it just it is really cool to see so uh peace out everyone i gotta figure out how to get the videos from the android onto my computer too because i need them for this edit because it was the good uh police footage of the guy being really cool and yeah that's pretty much it uh keep the scrap dream alive keep your dreams alive you